everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have an exciting new release from Narciso Rodriguez. It is called All Of Me, a brand new type of perfume, a whole new bottle, exciting newness from Narciso Rodriguez. So I'm gonna let you know this, how this smells like and how it compares to others from the brand. <music> If you're new here, then hello and welcome. We are all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos like this. I will leave the link to my other Narcissa Rodriguez videos down below. And of course my blog that has detailed articles on all of their perfumes, including the discontinued ones. And if you're a regular viewer, do make sure you give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. And in the description box, I will leave the links to where you can get this. I got this from Look Fantastic. I'm 20% off with my code LFTF SOKI. Um, but I'll leave the links to where you can get it all around the world. And of course to my website where you can get my perfumes, Empress, Aphrodite and my super concentrated soy wax candles and my crystal pestle candle actually reminds me quite a bit of all of me. Cool, so if you've been here for a while, been watching me for a while, you know that I really rate Narciso Rodriguez perfumes. I find them, they last well. And particularly the Narciso Rodriguez for her, like the signature fragrances. This is forever, Narciso Rodriguez for her. The Eau de Toilette, the Eau de Parfum, I think they're great everyday classy fragrances. And the Narcissa Rodriguez perfumes tend to have a musky note in them. They're kind of known for this clean feminine musk undertone. And All of Me does indeed have um, a musky note in it. For me, all of me. The new fragrance by Narciso Rodriguez. Mm. So this is definitely a really pretty scent. It's quite universal, quite difficult to dislike, I'd say. Mm. And it feels fresher and greener. So at first when you spray it, what I get is magnolia, which is a really delicate, pretty, watery floral and um, it's magnolia is quite fresh it's quite a bright scent quite uplifting and that's definitely what i get from this especially at first now as it develops a hint of geranium comes through which adds a green leafy feel and i also get quite a bright rose rose and perfumes can come in so many different forms it can be sweet it can be oriental spicy and um, for me this is definitely a fresh rose like a dew dew on the rose in the morning like fresh bright rose petals it's not a heavy or really a musky rose either and um, that's my favorite type of rose kind of a bit like um Dolce Rose from Dolce & Gabbana yeah this definitely feels the most pretty scent I've seen from Narciso Rodriguez. I think this could definitely be worn by any age and it's not as sort of serious as some of their others, particularly the Narciso Cube ones. They're quite heavy, quite serious. This is very much more fresh, daytime. I could see this being worn by like a 12 year old, a 15 year old, as well as a 50 year old, a 90 year old. Very sort of feminine, pretty. And that's sort of how the branding and the bottle is with this sort of baby pink. Reminds me a little bit of the Crystal, Narciso, Chris, was it Crystal? The pink cube one. but that one was more powdery. This doesn't really have any powderiness in it. And the musk is very subdued compared to what we normally expect from Narciso Rodriguez. If we take Narciso Rodriguez for her Eau de Parfum, for example, which uses rose, This really has quite a musky feeling to the rose. It's clean, almost slightly soapy. Um, whereas this, the magnolia is really lifting it. And the geranium, I don't think we've seen a geranium note from Narcissus Rodriguez before, is adding a greenness, which I really like. I think for me, this kind of reminds me of springtime, like fresh green shoots. Mm. Now, as it's settling, it is becoming a bit more rosy and I get a little bit of the musk. So it's definitely a perfume that changes. 
the magnolia fades and the rose starts to come through so it's definitely one ch that changes i think if you like narcissa rodriguez for her you'll probably like this and um, any sort of fresh floral perfume lover I think you'll like this. This is quite a safe blind buy. I think it's quite a safe gift as well. I've noticed that they are doing a gift set for Christmas in this with a body lotion shower gel. I think that's a really pretty gift set, you know, for a niece and aunt, you know, pretty safe blind buy. This here is the 30 mil and this retails for 62. Um, but I did get my 20% off at Look Fantastic. You've got a 50 mil for 92 and a 90 mil that's at 120. So it's not 100 mil, it's a 90 mil, the largest size. It feels pretty good quality, like, like the Narciso perfumes tend to be. So I don't think you need too many sprays on this and you can really smell it on yourself. It feels quite feminine, but it's not overly overpowering or anything. It's definitely more daytime. But this is just a, a probably a little bit more mainstream than what we're used to seeing from the brand, but I think this will do really well. It's just pretty nice nice gift for Christmas um, so definitely a Soki approved perfume um, so guys let me know if you've managed to try this yet what do you think how does it compare what's your favorite version of Narcisse Rodriguez I know a lot of the cube ones have been discontinued in my article on them um, I've tried to put links to the discontinued ones where you can still get them so I'll leave that article linked down below as well and a lot of the For Her ones have also been discontinued, but I do have them all featured in my article. So I'll leave you the links to them and to where you can get this all around the world. But definitely Soki approved. It's fun. It's pretty. Easy to wear. Mm. Yeah, just makes you smile, especially that top magnolia note. So yeah, let me know what your favourite Narcissa Rodriguez perfume is in the comments. I do read all your comments, but that's it guys. So thanks so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.